In this lecture, you will learn how to work with radio buttons in a template driven form in Angular. So in this form, the user has an option to select his gender and the genders are basically radio buttons here. So we have this male radio button, we have this female radio button and we have this button prefer not to say. Now let me go ahead and let me enter some value in these form controls. Okay. And let me also select the gender as male. Let me clear the console here and when I click on this submit button if I expand this ng form and if I expand this value here you will notice that the first name last name and email is properly calculated and we are also able to read the value of this gender radio button so currently it is male so the gender value is male if I clear the console here if I select gender as female and if I click on the submit button and if I expand this ng form and if we check the value of gender there, there you will notice that the gender is female. So it is working as expected. Now, when we are working with a template driven form in Angular, we can surely create the radio buttons like this, like we are doing here. But what we can also do is instead of repeating this HTML three times, we can use ng for directive and we can loop over an array in order to display the genders. So for example, in the app component.ts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an array. So let's say genders. Okay, this is going to be an array and to this genders, I'm going to assign an array and inside this array, I'm going to have three objects. In this object, I'm going to have an ID property. Let's say ID is going to be one and I'm also going to have a value property. Okay, and the value is going to be male. So this object I'm creating for gender male. In the same way, let me also go ahead and let me create two more objects. Here I'll say ID is two and I'm keeping these values as string value because when we are going to use it in the HTML, there we are going to assign these values to the ID attribute and there in the HTML, those values will be a string value. So that's why I'm creating it as string value. Here, let's say the value is female. And here I will say the value is maybe other. And let's also include one more property. Let's say display. Okay, so what do we want to display in the UI? So here for the male, I'll display male. Let me copy this property here. And let's go ahead and let's create this display property for female. So for the female, I want to display female. And here for this other gender, I want to display this text. Prefer not to say. So let me copy it and let me paste it here. Now what we are going to do is we are going to loop over this genders array in the view. So I will remove these two divs. Okay. And what do we want to do? We want to repeat this div for each gender. So here I'm going to use ng for directive. And using this ng for directive, we want to loop over the genders array. So here let's create a variable. Let's call it maybe gen of genders. And now what we want to do? Here for the ID, instead of displaying this string value check mail, for the male gender, I want to have the value as one. Or maybe let's use the same value because using these IDs, I'm also adding some CSS on these radio buttons. So here, let's say for the male, the ID is check mail. For the female, the ID is check female. And for this other, let's say the ID is check other all right now let's save the changes here let's go back so here we want to display the id from the gender array so here i'm going to use string interpolation syntax okay or since we are going to assign these values to an attribute here we can also do property binding so let me actually do property binding here Okay, and what do we want to assign to this ID attribute? We want to assign gen dot ID. Okay, then here for the value, again, I'll do property binding. And here I'll say 
the value should be gen dot value because for each gender you'll notice we have this value property then we also has this display so here instead of hard coding this value here i'll use string interpolation syntax and there i'll say gen dot display let's save the changes let's go to the web page and let's see if it is working or not so you will notice that we still have those genders so male female and prefer not to say but now what we are doing is we have created a genders property which is an array and inside that array we have defined an object for each gender there we have the id property value property and display property and we are using these properties in the view to set the id attribute of the radio button the value attribute of the radio button and what do we want to display in the web page and we are basically looping over that genders array to display each gender from that genders array all right now let's quickly check if it is still reading the value correctly or not so let me select the gender as male here let me clear the console and let's click on the submit button if i expand this ng form here if i go to this value property and if i expand it you'll see that it is still reading the gender value properly so it has read male let me clear the console let me select female and let's click on the submit button if i expand this and if i check the value there the gender is female so it is still reading the value properly and in this way